Hi, this is Brad with Copper Creek Cuts, a lawn care company in Northeast Florida. And with all the recent discussion around the coronavirus financial stimulus package or bailout or financial incentive, whatever you want to call it, they're still hammering out all the details right now. So speculation is inevitable about what it contains. But what if some type of payout, whether that's one or $2,000 per American, is part of this financial stimulus or this financial relief package? What does that mean for you? Well, if you're having trouble making your rent or paying your utilities or buying groceries, you probably already know where that money is going to go. But if you've got a little bit more flexibility in your finances, how else could you use that payout if indeed it is part of the relief package? Well, you might look at starting your own business and specifically in this video, we're going to look at a lawn care business. Now, lawn care is something that aside from seasonality, so in the winter, it's not grass isn't growing, but it's never going to go away. The robots aren't doing it all for us yet. And it's something where you can set your own schedule. So if you've only got weekends, only mow on weekends. It's something that is very easy to get into as well, with many states requiring no type of testing or licensing, aside from you registering your business. And while it's true that you can spend tens of thousands of dollars on commercial lawn care equipment, you don't have to. In fact, you get your own business off the ground for less than a thousand dollars. Don't believe me? Well, let's take a look. <laughs> and all the products that we talk about, you'll be able to see the description has links to them on Amazon. In our budget build, we're looking at this Craftsman 3-in-1 mulching mower that actually gives you the ability to mulch, bag, or side discharge. This is self-propelled, which is going to be nice. Don't try and skimp to save $50 on a non-self-propelled version. It's not worth the money you save versus the amount of extra work that it's going to take. As are all the products we're looking at, this is a residential model, so don't expect it to work miracles. Overgrown lawns, you're going to need to go slower, you're going to need to charge more, and you're going to maybe need to do two or three passes to get a very clean cut. Just be expecting it now and you won't be disappointed later. String trimmers. I happen to like the Husqvarna 129LK, which is an attachment style string trimmer. I like attachment power base hookups because they let you do multiple things with just one power head. A simple Hitachi handheld blower, 440 CFM, 170 miles per hour. I've got one of these that's going on five years old. It still starts within three pulls or less, no issues from it whatsoever. It might wear out your arm, <laughs> but it's not gonna break the bank and it's gonna get the job done. Of course, you're going to need two stroke oil for that string trimmer, for that blower. Husqvarna makes their own that's relatively inexpensive. Gas cans, a five and a two and a half gallon no spill are gonna keep your frustration to a minimum. And lastly, you wanna keep yourself safe, so glasses, and earplugs, can't forget about those. Now there are some hand tools I think you should have, a yard rake, a leaf rake, a shovel, a trash can, but if you look around, you can get all those things for less than 15 bucks a piece, right? So that's about $50 worth of hand tools. For that entire setup, assuming a 9.5% sales tax rate, which is gonna be pretty much the highest you'd see anywhere in the nation, you're looking at just about $850. That's right. Now, what if that coronavirus payout's a little bit higher? Well, then you could look at adding some attachments to that string trimmer, like a pole saw or a hedge trimmer. Both of these things are gonna open up the ability to offer many more services to your clients. It's gonna make you a lot more profitable with a very small investment. So both of those attachments, they're about another $520. So they're not inexpensive, but they are less expensive than buying a dedicated pole saw or a dedicated hedge trimmer. And another good thing about this setup is that because uh, the string trimmers all break in half with the attachment and the power base, and because that push mower is a push mower, not a, a large walk behind, you can run this setup out of a car. You don't have to have a truck. You don't have to have a trailer. Remember, all those links are in the description for all those products if you want any more information. If you've got any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. Here are a few more videos that YouTube thinks that you might like. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing for more. And let's all hope that coronavirus payout means money, money, money. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it.